you guys were kind of put in a position to make a play at the end and stop Northwestern. You couldn't last year, but you did this year. What's what's that feeling like? Uh, we did it this year. That's how it feels like, you know. Um, you know, it's, you get a chance at redemption. And, um, you know, last year you said it, it was right. We had one minute in the game and we fell. And this this year uh, we came, you know, we was victor victorious. Lamar had a, a great play, got that pick. Um, and we, we were just calm. That was the emphasis, being calm, cool, and collective. No matter what happened, all those penalties, all that, it don't matter. You know, if you're calm, cool, and collective and you're executing at a high level, that's all that matters. That's what we did, even after all those penalties and stuff like that. We felt like if we play our ball, we're going to win this game no matter what. What you tell, what'd you tell Lane McCallum? That he's the GOAT. <laughs> uh, you know, Adam Vinatieri, baby. So, yeah. <laughs> What'd you see on the Lamar pick? Um, you know, we was in, I can't tell you that, but uh, yeah, we, <laughs> we we had a good call and um, he read the eyes of the quarterback and um, broke in front of the uh, receiver and made a great play. And, you know, I was confused at first because he like bobbled it. I was like, oh wait, you catching there? You know, <laughs> so, and then he caught it and yeah, it was a great play. Did you think he was going to score? Yeah, yeah, you know, we, uh, we're going to watch film, but yeah, he, he should have scored. With his athleticism in that left side was looking nice, so yeah, he should have scored right there. Did you give him a little bit of, uh, did you talk with him on the oh, side? Oh, if, if, you look, if you look at Coach Shin's reaction, it says it all. <laughs> so, Caleb Sanders yeah. said that you guys uh, had confidence that you'd get the ball back for the offense. Oh, yeah. You guys that confidence right now. That I mean, confidence? what's giving us that confidence? It's just what we do, our preparation from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to the game. And that's what gives us confidence. If we have a great week and we feel like we dialed in, then the game's going to look like the week. And we had a great week. We came back on Monday. We was hungry. We was working on fundamentals, getting on block, making tackles. Every, everyone honed in on their crafts, and that's what you've seen out there. We was way better at tackling and getting off blocks and making plays. How does a win like this, and especially with what you have last week, help you guys? Yeah, Northwestern is a, they're a real good team. And that's a team you have to play four solid quarters against or they will beat you. And they coach well. Coach Fitzgerald is a great coach and he does a good job of making sure his players don't beat themselves and, uh, and play disciplined football. So if we could beat a team like Northwestern, um, and I know they wanted this game also, so they didn't come in here just uh, uh, nonchalant. They came in here to they they knew they knew they needed this game also. So to beat them in this uh, in this moment of their in their season is big. So I think we're gonna have a lot of confidence going forward with this. They scored to tie the game on the, their first possession of the second half. But yeah. you guys held with the tie game every single time you were out on the field, no matter where they got the ball. Yeah. What were the conversations like on the sideline? And how, how did you? How confident were you guys that you were going to stand up against that offense in the tie game? Yeah, we you know that shouldn't happen. We beat ourselves on that drive. Um, um, they did a good, good enough job of uh, you know knowing our weaknesses and stuff like that. But we had to execute at a high, at a high level on that drive. But um, you know we have to put out the fire. It's not. It don't matter what the offense does. You know when you play defense, you want to be in that position to have your brothers back. It's like you're a, you're a protector. That's what defender is, and that's what we did for our offense today. And we had a chance in the end of the game to win, and that's what we did. We won. Did you guys do anything in that fourth quarter to kind of shut down the quarterback run game here? Having some success with the third quarter, but I mean, what was kind of the key for you guys shut that down? Later? You know, it's switching from you know all front three down to four down. And, um, or, you know, just mixing up who's the quarterback player. I think we did a good job in doing that and confusing them. And sometimes they think they have a, and they got a, um, the edge, but the linebacker is there for them. Or sometimes the outside linebacker, sometimes the corner. So we were just confusing them, and that's what happened. They stopped um, getting yards on that play. Talk about that drive with uh, multiple personal fouls that you guys were just able to <laughs> and, and come away with that stop of, of not allowing that field goal. Yeah, it's just, you know, we want to play football. Like, when stuff like that happens, it's just like, like, come on, man. We're trying to play football. It's an intense game, and there's no need for all that. Even, um, you know, 
what if um, penalties. But our message was, if you see our body language on that drive was calm down, stay calm, stay calm, stay calm. Because you can't control what the um, referees are doing right there. But you have to execute or like you see, we put ourselves in a, in a good position. They missed that field goal. If we panicked and let them score a touchdown, that would be, that'd be stupid. So we just, um, we was a smarter team right there. The team in the past would have freaked out, let them score a touchdown. We stayed calm, cool, and collective, and we executed at a high level. Hi, this is Jason Jorgensen, Sports Director at KRVN. Thanks for watching our YouTube video. To keep up to date with everything we have going on with our sports coverage, you can find that. And we love to have you subscribe to our channel. Just hit the little red button in the right corner.